Now three citizens of Vice Bureau in the borders, which were threatened with closure, will now be saved, thanks to a newly formed service. The replacement organisation will continue to provide money and welfare advice, as Jenny Longdon reports. Now, how can we help you well, I've got a gas bill that seems to be going through the roof and... Uh, Citizens' and advice services like this one in Hoyk have been under threat due to cuts, but now all six in the borders will be saved for the next three years at least. The new Borders Citizens' Advice Bureau service is to be launched after receiving financial backing from the council. For people like Edmund Craster, the help and advice is invaluable. Well, it can steer you in the right direction, uh, point you towards uh, telephone numbers or agencies, uh, and that is exactly what happened to me. Uh, insofar as uh, debt, uh, I did have a problem with a gas bill that was running out of control. I didn't know quite why it was as high as it was, so I came in and asked advice about that too. The new service will provide free, impartial and confidential advice to everyone in the Scottish borders. That advice mostly relates to debt and money issues, welfare benefits, tax credits and housing. The aim of the new service is to reduce the number of households in the borders that are in or at risk of being in debt and also helping households manage their finances more efficiently. It means that the six bureaus across the borders will continue to run as they have been. Each of these will also offer the new service. People seeking financial advice will now know exactly where to go. If they have that problem, they know that they can come direct to citizens' advice. There's no confusion. Also, uh, we've been asked if, we, if it's possible to improve some of our services. And we've taken that on. And together with the council, we'll be looking at ways of expanding from our current six office base. The Scottish Borders Council will provide £225,000 per year for the service. The Citizens Advice Bureau is a widely respected voluntary organisation that people turn to when they're in distress and so uh, they're a key partner for us and I'm very, very pleased that this will help to put them on a secure footing for the next three years. The new service will take effect from the 1st of April. Jenny Longdon, Hoyk.